Okay, so right now we're in Nuke and uh, let's make some cool volume ray effect inside of Nuke X is version 11.2. So by pressing tab, you guys can search like volume rays, which will come to an in filter option. Now see, this is a volume rays option, and it was guys, you can find so many tools over there. Oh, I'll I'll come here. So first of all, uh, you can take a radial node, uh, radial node and that will create a light source that will uh, exactly that will uh, make your light source for this volume effect but before this delete this i'm taking a reformat and before doing the reformat press s on your keyboard and obviously set your exact resolution i'm taking 1920 by 1080p which is full hd and then reformat it like same obviously and then press a radial node R -A -D -I -A -L, radial and connect it below this reformat node so now when you press one you can see this thing double click on it and just make it uh, like a square you can make it in your own size i suggest make it square so zero by zero by let's make it like uh, 600 by 600 which is a full square and obviously take a transform node and by pressing control just control it and drag it to the center what what the reason for the transform node the reason is that you can move it by using this transform node okay so let's make it like this and double click on this radial node and you can decrease this softness down so that it will become a hard light if you wish you can make your softness uh, like fully 100 percent but i suggest make it like a zero or 50 50 okay so just transform it to center or somewhere else just a little bit scale down like this yeah right now it's fine and now what you have to do you just need to take a constant you can take any color of this constant i'm taking like a little what are you gonna say a little darkish blue which is a good i think so if you don't i'll just change it okay so make it like darkish blue like this it's not blue kind of it's kind of a green type so, okay it's fine uh then press merge just like this press a b and press one to connect it like this now see this is already connected uh guys i suggest let's make it black because the color is not good enough so i'm just making it like a black cool right now everything is here done let's make it little more precise yeah fine now we can see there's a volume ray effect is there so just nothing you have to do you just need to go and move it to here so this is it now you guys can't see it right because the volume ray effect only work when you double click it see this is a volume plus dot is here so what you have to do you just have to move this dot to this the circle is here so when you go to the up of the circle like this you guys can find this cool volume ray effect now i'm taking it like top of this so it's become like a you can say this is uh, coming from a window kind of thing and let's transform your main circle to the top like this so it's become let's make it outside of this window so it's become like the coming lights from the outside of this window i'm making it a little bigger for you guys and uh, then take this volume rip dot and make it more up of this slightly like this yeah i think this is yeah this is good okay now you can see the riddle fall off is too big okay it's good actually you, you can animate it as well you will just go an animation option and just just simply animate it like this okay so this is a volumetric position so you guys can animate it from here just go to the first frame and right click set key and go to the last frame and simply move it like this so it's become like this yeah that's fine i think yeah this is this is fine now go to the first frame let's make it from here to there so when you play this you guys can see it's already animating right so it's cool okay so over there you guys can find so many options like ray length so what is the ray length this is the rays okay so when you decrease the ray length you guys can see this fall off option has become more uh, what you can say this is decreasing and it's increasing actually so it is a pre blur option you can make it more blur the outside of the hc right now no flicker is visible just obviously you have to always go this down I, I suggest it's my suggestion you guys can use or not edge blurs obviously you guys can understand you guys can see this edges blurs but it's actually blurring your edges i suggest uh, do not use that just 
uh, use this uh, by default and uh, flicker speed what is a flicker you guys can see this raise over there when you play this see the this flickering actually right see this is a flickering so that's called flicker if, if you increase this flicker speed it will obviously increase when the flicker sizes I suggest make make it like 10 10 is good to get some cool uh, flickers over there it's fine right uh, and then you guys can find some colors over there I'll come in this color a little bit later just import a cool uh, stock footage I have which is uh, based on some fog so this is a basically the proper volume raise over there I'm creating this and if if I suggest like uh, let's make it more realistic because this is completely two-dimensional okay so just I'm um, importing that footage so right now I have two more footages which when I press one over there you guys can see when I play this this is a cool smoke footage okay so if, if you wish you can download it from YouTube I, I'm just taking it randomly from YouTube link is in description just go and download this kind of cool stock footages and if you don't want this kind of a uh, little bit low quality footages because it's obviously from YouTube so the quality become low you guys can use the action essential pack from video copilot which is the most advanced and the most finest I have uh, always suggest to use that okay so this is this is cool smoke footage okay you guys can see just go to the first frame and what do you have to do now see the smoke is coming from this direction right and it's going to that direction so what I'll do I'll just take a reformat just a reformat it and connect it like this and then press a transform node and what I'll do I'll just make it flip see I'll just make it flip so what it help it it's like nothing it's not helping me a lot it just helping me to make this come from this side okay because my light is in this direction so if it's come from this side it obviously looks more good and realistic that's why I'm using this okay so now what I have to do you just have to connect this to so just press M on your keyboard just connect to a pipe on this and B pipe for the background connect it like this and press 1 to view this and just make it more precise it like this and make it like this now fine now when you press 1 on your keyboard oh, sorry when you press just one on your keyboard and press here uh, and uh, like this and make it until yeah fine okay now go to here double click and press from over to multiply so where's the multiply option yes this is a multiply option now okay, you can see this volume rays are coming from it's feeling like this coming from this fog just play this and you can see see it's coming from like this so the smoke is actually visible on inside of this volume raise I know this is not uh, much clear so what you have to do you just have to press a great note until this volume raise just press great and increase the gain or you can increase the gamma don't increase gamma too much because the low quality footage so it become fully visible so always increase the gain and uh, coming to here as well same can copy it and just paste it for this one or as well and just delete this reformat because I am just press one and see this footage is more good okay see this is really really good footage okay so what I have to do see this, this is a smoke over there and let's press transform it and just scale it a little bit down so it's become like uh, okay it's fine yeah it's fine right now and press a grade note to increase the gain of this footage see now it's fine and uh, when you connect it to this sorry when you connect it to this it will take some time and press one here and now see nothing is visible because the radial grays on this area okay so same thing i'll do press transform it uh, just transform go to transform and just flip it like this yep now see this is a little bit visible okay now in, uh, let me scale it slightly bigger yeah it's fine okay now what i have to do just go to this uh, riddle option and you can increase the size as i say before or in, uh, just move it a little down so that it will visible from here and uh, then make your transform node just scale it a little bigger see right now it's visible and you can use from the volume raise okay so i'm just going to the this frame and uh, just no going to this frame okay and just delete this keyframes because it's not getting too much cutting output and just simply i'm just moving this one volume passes to here now see it feel really good okay now what i have to do you just uh, make your this kind of grade to little increase i'm increasing the gain and increasing the white point little decreasing it like this it's fine okay 
So now what I have to do, you can make your own colors. Okay, so just go to the volume raise option, go to down and over there you guys can find this color option. So this is basically the volume gamma, volume gain, initial volume, in end volume. In end volume, initial volume means the initial volume is that this area is option when the light is coming from this direction that is called initial volume and this is the ending volume option that is called the end volume colors. Okay, so when I increase this at the uh, sorry initial volume you can see the reddish coming inside see I'm just zooming it like this so this is a cool red or blue kind of colors I'm making and uh, this is the end volume color so when I get to the end part you guys can see this is a cool ended part and let's make it a little bluish so that it's feel like it's coming from like a heaven or something like that so this is it like color processing yeah this is fine okay so now the, there is so many settings over there you just have to make it like randomly and you guys can then find some cool effects by using this volume raise effect uh, volume raise okay this will help you a lot to make from a two dimension volume raise to like a pretty cool kind of thing and i know this is a a uh, little little more uh, like what you can say a little experimental thing so so far so good and this is it so hope you guys really enjoyed this sweet little short tutorial which is based on volume rays or you can say god rays or something like that so if you like this video then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and obviously press that bell icon for the further notifications because whenever i'll upload the video you will just get the notification suddenly and yes i'll see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy bye bye goodbye